electrical network to first look at way of doing to define state variables. State variables are initial conditions. So I am defining the initial condition of L1 as I1, the initial condition of L2 as I2, and BC. Any direction of current you can take. I have chosen this direction. If it is an inductive network, apply KVL because KVL will give you LDI by DI expression. And if it's a capacitive network, apply KCL because KCL will give DVC by DI expressions. But when you have both KVL and KCL, you have to apply both. When you have inductors and capacitors, you have to apply both KVL as well as KCL. Write the loop equation for the, for the first network for loop one. This will become L1 dI1 by dt I1 R1 plus E1 minus Vc equal to 0. So dI1 by dt will be equal to minus of R1 by L1 into L1, Vc by L1, E1 by L1. We call this as equation 1. Then for the second loop, the equation will become L2 dI2 by dt I2 R2 plus C2 minus Vc equal to 0. So dI2 by dt is equal to minus of R2 by L2 plus Vc by L2 minus E2 by L2. We call this as second equation. KCL at load Vc will become I1 plus I2 C D V C by D T equal to zero. So D V C by D T will become minus I1 by C minus I2 by C. This is the third equation. If you observe the first derivative state variables are I1 dot, I2 dot, and V C dot. These are the first derivative state variables. Some coefficient matrix. The state variables are I1, I2, Vc, some coefficient matrix, the inputs are E1, E2. If you look at the first equation, I1 dot is equal to minus of R1 by L1 into I1, 0, 1 by L1, and by L1 and minus 1 by L1 0. If you look at the second equation, I2 dot will be equal to 0 minus R2 by L2, 1 by L2 and then 0 minus 1 by L2. If you look at the third equation, it is minus 1 by C, minus 1 by C, 0 and 0, 0. So x dot is equal to ax plus vu. Output of a network, output you can define anything. Output can be i1, i2 or pc in the network. Suppose if I define output as i1, suppose if the output y is defined as i1, then output equation will become 1, 0, 0 into i1, i2 and pc. There is no input here plus zero. This becomes the output equation and this becomes the state equation. Similarly, if you look at this electrical network, this is the electrical network given and we have to write the state model of this. This is I of T. So the first thing that we need to do is to define state variables of this network. What are state variables of this network? IL is the state variable for this and plus minus VC is the state variable for capacitor. I of T is IL plus IC. I of T is IL plus C into dvc by dt. So 
what is d d c by d t minus of i l by c i of t by c. Write a loop equation for this. A loop equation you write for this. For this loop, this will become l into d i l by d t minus b c equal to zero. d i l by d t is equal to b c by l. These are the two defining equations of this paper. So we have b c dot i l dot first derivative state variables expressed as linear combination of state variables are b c and i l in some coefficient matrix. The input is i of t. Look at the first equation. It is zero minus one by c. 1 by c. This is 1 by l 0 0. This becomes the state model of this network. So you have to apply either KVL or KCL, depending on what you have. L or C. If both are there, you have to apply both KCL as well as. Plus you have to write equations in terms of di by dt. There are different types of problems which can be asked from this topic. The first type is to obtain state model from differential equations. This is the first type to obtain state model from differential equations. For example, if this is the state part differential equation given. Plus 4 into d square y by d t square, 6 into d y by d t plus 10 y is equal to 20 u. Now, when we apply Laplace transform to this equation, you will find transfer function y of s by u of s. So, what is the nature of transfer function y of s by u of s? This will be s cube. This will be s cube plus 4 s square 6s plus 10 into is 20 into u of s. So, the transfer function y of s by u of s will become 20 by s cube. Plus 4s square plus 6s plus 10. This is the transfer function. But if you want to write a state model for this differential equation, the first thing that we have to do is to define state variables. This is the first step that we have to do. The procedure for defining state variables for a differential equation is: we start from this end of the equation by letting y equal to x1. dy by dt will become x1 dot we call it as x2 d square y by dt square will become x2 dot we call it as x3 d cube y by dt cube will become x3 dot because it is the higher order term you stop there now from this we define the first order uh, first derivative state variables as x1 dot is x2 X2 dot is X3, and X3 dot will become 20u minus. This is X3 dot. This X3 dot is equal to 20u minus 4 into X3. 4 into X3 minus 6 into X2 minus 10 into X. Therefore, we have X1 dot. X2 dot, X3 dot. First derivative state variables expressed as linear combination of state variables are x1, x2, x3. There is only one input. The input is u, and output y is some coefficient matrix. State variables are x1, x2, and Now look at the first equation. This will become zero one zero zero 
second one zero zero one zero third one minus ten minus six minus four and twenty and if you observe output y we are defining in terms of therefore output equation will become one zero zero this becomes the state model of this differential equation this state model where this is x1 dot is defined in terms of x2 x2 dot is defined in terms of x means the first row will be 0 1 0 second row will be 0 0 1 such a state model representation we call it as the bush or companion form which is called as a bush or companion form now to write this bush or companion form there is no need for us to waste time by writing, defining the state variables like this and all that. There is one shortcut method to apply this bush or companion form. For example, the shortcut method is, if you look at this question number 7, page number 80, this is the transfer function y of s by u of s given, which is 1 by s power 4, 5 s cube, 8 s square, 6 s plus 3. This is the transfer function given. Now you see, in this transfer function, what is the order of this characteristic equation? Order of the characteristic equation, if it is 3, we have defined three state variables. Now what is the order of this characteristic equation? So we define for this problem four state variables. x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot, x4 dot. This is equal to some coefficient matrix we have to write. State variables are x1, x2, x3, x4 and input. Input is u and output matrix will become y is equal to some coefficient matrix. The state variables are x1, x2, x3, x4. In a bush or a companion form, we start always by defining x1 dot in terms of x2, which means the first row will always be 0, 1, 0, 0. This element also will be the second row will become 0, 0, 1, 0. This element also will be 0. The third row will become 0, 0, 0, 1. And this element also will be 0. The fourth row is nothing but, if you observe, it is the reverse order of these coefficients. The reverse order with reverse sign. So reverse order with reverse sign for these coefficients you have to put as the last row. Reverse order and sign. So what is reverse order and sign? Minus 3, minus 6, minus 8, minus 5. And this constant term if you observe, this is nothing but the numerator constant term. So what is the numerator constant term of this transfer function? This becomes the A matrix and B matrix. When you write the first row as 0, 1, 0, 0, it means you are defining x1 dot in terms of, which means the output matrix will always be, will always be 1, 0, 0, 0, because you are defining output in terms of x1. Since we are observing this differential equation and the previous differential equation, du by dt terms. When you have du by dt terms, you will be having zeros in the transfer function. Whereas in these transfer functions, there are no zeros, as you observe. So when we apply Laplace transform to this uh, differential equation, this will become s square plus 7s plus 9 
into y of s is 2s plus 1 into u of s. So if you see the transformation of this, it will be 2s plus 1 by s square plus 7s plus 9. This is question number 8 of page number 18. Now, whenever you have zeros in a transfer function, then the method to write the straight model, we call it as phase variable method. Phase variable method means this transfer function, y of s by u of s, we write in two phases. Two phases means in two parts we write. That is, separating the denominator term and numerator term. In two parts we are writing. From the denominator term we write a state equation. From the numerator term we write output equation. This is the procedure. Now you see, from the denominator term, what is the highest power of the characteristic equation? Uh, two. Two means you have two state variables, x1 dot, x2 dot, some coefficient matrix, State variables are x1, x2, some coefficient matrix, input is What is the first row? First row is always 0, 1, 0. Second row is minus 9, minus 7, or 1. Next, from the numerator term, we write the output equation. State variables are defined as x1, x2. Here, for writing the state equation, we are taking reverse order and sign. But here, for writing the output equation, we take only reverse order. So this will become 1 and this is not. For example, suppose if this is the problem given. y of s by u of s is 10 into s square plus 4s plus 10 divided by s cube plus 6 s square, 12s plus 8. This is the problem given. So from the numerator term, denominator term, we write the state equation. From the numerator term, we write the output equation. How many state variables are to be defined here? Three state variables, x1 dot, x2 dot, and x3 dot. Some coefficient matrix we have to write. State variables are x1, x2 and x3 and the input is u and the output matrix y will become some coefficient matrix into x1, x2 and x3. What is the first row? 0, 1, 0. What is the second row? 0, 0, 1, 0. What is the third row? Minus 12 and 10. The numerator constant. What will be this equation? 10, 4, and this becomes the state. This method is called as phase variable method, which means you are writing the state model in two phases, in two parts. Transform P 
is equal to x of s plus b u of s and y of s will be c x of s plus b u of s. We know that for transfer functions, any type of initial conditions are assumed to be zero. Therefore, it is s x of s a x of s is equal to b u of s. Si minus a into x of s is b u of s. This becomes si minus a inverse into b into u of s. Substitute in the output equation, this will become c into si minus a inverse into b plus d. This whole thing into u of s. Therefore, y of s by u of s is c into si minus a inverse into b plus b. This matrix, we call it as transfer matrix. A transfer matrix of a state model is the ratio of Laplace of output to Laplace of input under the assumption that all initial conditions are call it as transfer function. For example, first design R toward u. This is the state model given. X dot is equal to minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2 into x plus 1, 0 into u. And y is 1, 1 transpose into x. We have to write the transfer matrix for the state model. So the first thing we have to do is to formulate SI minus A matrix. S0, 0S, zero, zero what is the A matrix? Minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2. This will become S plus 1, 0, 0, S plus 2. Next, find what is adjoint of <coughs> SI minus A. This is s plus 2, 0, 0, s plus 1. Find what is determinant of si minus a. s plus 1 into, therefore, the inverse matrix will become 1 by s plus 1, 0, 0, 1 by s plus 2. Now, this inverse matrix multiply with b matrix. Si minus a inverse into b will become 1 by s plus 1, 0, 0, 1 by s plus 2. What is the b matrix given? 1, 0. This will become 1 by s plus 1, 0. Multiply this product with c matrix. c into si minus a inverse into b will become c is 1, 1 transpose will become 1 by s plus 1, 0. Therefore, the transfer function of this problem is 1 by s plus 1 because there is no B matrix to add to it. Similarly, if you look at uh, this question, question number 2, this is the state model given x dot of t is minus 2 into x of t plus 2 into u of t and y of t is 0.5 into x of t. You see, if the state model is given directly in the form of equations like this, you directly apply Laplace transfer. If you are given matrix like this, you formulate a transfer matrix. Directly you can apply Laplace transform for this minus 2x of s, 2u of s, y of s is 0.5, x of s. s plus 2 into x of s is 2u of s. So x of s is 2 by s plus 2 into u of s. Substitute in the output equation, y of s is 0.5 into 2 by s plus 2 into u of s. Therefore, the transfer function of the system will become 1 by 
सो अगर मैट्रिक्स है ए बी सी डी मैट्रिक है देन यू फॉर्मुलेट ट्रांसफर मैट्रिक्स है तो डायरेक्टली अप्लाई We have defined the transfer matrix as y of s by u of s is c into s i minus a inverse into b plus. This is c into a joint of s i minus a by determinant of s i minus a. Plus B. This is C into a joint of S I minus A into B. Determinant of S I minus A into B divided by determinant of S I minus A. So for a transfer function, we know that the numerator factors are formed as zeros. So C into the joint of S I minus A into B plus determinant of S I minus A into B equal to zero. This will give you the zeros. Poles or the characteristic equation groups one plus G of S H of S equal to zero. This is given by determinant of S I minus A equal to zero. Determinant of S I minus A equal to zero are nothing but eigenvalues. So eigenvalues of the system matrix A are nothing but the closed loop. Now we know that for a system to be stable, the closed loop pole should lie in left hand side of S plane. That means for a state model to be stable. Eigen values of system matrix should be negative. Negative eigen values implies poles are lying in left side. Positive eigen values implies poles are lying in right side. Imaginary eigen values implies poles are lying on j omega. For example, conventional question number two is to see. X dot is equal to zero one minus twenty minus nine into x plus zero one into r and output matrix is minus five into x plus one into r. Now we have to find the poles and zeros of this function. The first thing that we have to do is to formulate S I minus A matrix. Zero S A matrix is zero one minus twenty minus nine that becomes S minus one twenty S plus nine. Then we have to find what is a joint of S I minus A. This is S plus one S plus nine and minus twenty. One and S. This will become S plus nine minus twenty one and this is the adjoint matrix. Now this adjoint matrix multiply with B matrix first. Adjoint of S I minus A into B will become S plus nine minus twenty one S. And what is the B matrix given? Zero one. This reduces to one S. Then multiply this product with C matrix. C into a joint of S I minus A into B will be minus 17 minus 5 into 1 S. This will give you minus 17 minus 5 S. Then find out what is determinant of S I minus A. What is determinant of S I minus A? S into S plus nine plus twenty. 
determinant of SI minus A into D will be S square plus minus plus 20. And what is the D matrix given? 1. Therefore, zeros of a transfer function will be now lying at minus 17 minus 5s plus s square plus minus plus 20 equal to 0. S square plus 4s plus 3 equal to 0 minus 3 and minus 1. What are poles? Poles are s square plus 9s plus 20 equal to 0. Minus 4 and minus 1. Eigenvalues are negative. Eigenvalues are negative means the state model is absolutely stable. This is the procedure for finding the stability using state models.
minus 3 minus 5 into x 0 0 1 into 3 this will become x dot is equal to 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus 2 minus 3 plus 0 0 1 into 3 now this is the A matrix. This is the A matrix. What are we supposed to find for this? Eigenvalues. That means you have to formulate SI minus A and find the determinant of SI minus A. Yes or no? But we know that the sum of the principal diagonal elements is equal to sum of eigenvalues. Yeah. Sum of the principal diagonal elements is nothing but sum of eigenvalues. Options may you have to get minus. Can I answer? A is not. You need not so. Even for us. 
बिकॉज हमारे से ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स कंट्रोल सिस्टम तो कहीं दिखेगा ही नहीं आर द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स कंट्रोल सिस्टम एवर क्रिएटेड हाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो गेट मैरिड So, we should be at every moment of our lives. We should be both straight, controllable, as well as observable. Which means we should be able to control our initial conditions, as well as measure our initial conditions. क्या है हमारे इनिशियल कंडीशन पैसा इनिशियल कंडीशन लागे क्या बी पाए क्या वॉट डू यू थिंक आर अवर इनिशियल so you are measuring every thought but when a thought of having a cup of tea is coming to your mind you are not only measuring it but you are also controlling it that is why you are sitting here if only you had no control over your thought the moment that thought comes to your mind immediately you would have this is straight controllability and straight observability you see our personality our life directly proportional to the thoughts that we have our rate of success in life everything is directly proportional to thoughts that we you can't stop thoughts coming to your mind it is impossible it is their nature they will come but control is in your hands you should be straight controllable you are straight observable it is by nature but you should become straight When you become state controllable, you become more stable in life. We become more stable in life. When we become more stable in life, then we are capable of achieving anything. 
whatever role we play in our lives, we excel in those roles. Suppose if you play a role of a brother or a sister, you excel in that role. If you play a role of a husband or a wife, you excel in that role. Employer or employee. Whatever role you play, every moment you are playing some role or the other. So in all those roles we excel. And so it can happen only when the thought process is controlled. Thought process can be controlled by simply shifting our attitude. The change of attitude completely changes the thought process at the same time controls the thought process. You see, in this journey called life, from birth and death, these are the only two facts of life. Apart from that, there is no fact. I don't see any fact also. We are born, it is true, one day we will go, that is also 100%. In this journey called life, we are suffering. You know, marriage is a three ring circus. Engagement ring, wedding ring, suffering. <laughs> so, the reason is because of uncontrollability of the thought process. What is this thought process? All, every moment of our life, if you observe, is based on the concept of instead of. We are leading a life based on the concept of instead of. What is this instead of? <coughs> if my friend is good to me, I am good to him. If my brother is good to me, I am good to him. If my sister likes me, I like her. If my parents give me money, I love them. Otherwise, <laughs> if my wife washes my dirty socks, I love her. Why should she wash your dirty socks? This is instead of. Simply changing the attitude from instead of, in spite of. In spite of my friend likes me or not, I like her. In spite of my father or mother praise me or not, I love her. In spite of my brother or sister love me or not, I love her. In spite of my husband or wife takes care of me or not, I take care of her. This concept of a shift of attitude from instead of to in spite of completely changes us focus of your thoughts. And the moment the focus of the thoughts are changed, you become absolutely controlled. You control your thoughts. You In the sense you don't get irritated, you don't get frustrated, you don't get depressed. Negative emotions will not come to you. Which means you are controlling your thoughts. And the moment you are controlling your thoughts, you are exhibiting state controllability. And the state controllable person is capable of any achievement in life. Understand? So we are already observable. But we should strive to become state controlled. Now, for a system, we have this Kalman's test. In this Kalman's test, we formulate these matrices. If you look at this question number one, x dot is equal to 0, 1, 2 minus 3 into x plus 0, 1 into u and y is equal to 1, 1 into x. So to formulate a controllability matrix, we formulate V e, A, B matrix. We formulate V e, A, B matrix. What is A, B? It is 0, 1, 2 minus 3. What is the B matrix given? 0, 1. This becomes 1 minus 3. So we have a controllability matrix QC as 0, 1, 1 minus 3. The determinant of this matrix is minus 1, rank is n, and hence we say the system is state controllable. A transpose C transpose, A transpose C transpose will be 0, 1. 2 minus 3 and C transpose is 1, 1. This will become 2 minus 2. Therefore, the composite matrix for observability will be 1, 1, 2 minus 2. Determinant is 2. So we say that this system is both state controllable as well as observable. Similarly, question number 10, if you see, we have x dot is equal to 1, 2, 0, 1 
into x plus 0, 1 into u and we have output matrix as E0 into x. We formulate an observability matrix C transpose, A transpose, C transpose. So A transpose, C transpose matrix will become 1, 2, 0, 1 into B0. This becomes B to B. Therefore, the observability matrix will become B0, B to B. The determinant is 2B squared. The condition is this should not be equal to 0. From the options given, answer C will match this option, which is 2B square not equal to 0 when you do the observable. So this is observable for all non-zero values of Now, the next type is solution of state equations. We have two solutions for the state equations. The state equation is defined as x dot of t is a into x of t plus b into u of t. The first one is called as the free response of the system. Free response means there is no external input given. Response is because of initial conditions, initially stored energy. This will be the equation. This is nothing but x dot of t minus a into x of t equal to 0. This is a homogeneous differential equation whose solution is k e power a t. Applying Laplace transform to equation 1 s x of s minus x of 0 a x of s is equal to 0 s i minus a into x of s is equal to x of 0 s i minus a inverse into x of 0 this matrix s i minus a inverse we call it as dissolvent matrix. X of t is nothing but inverse Laplace of SI minus A inverse into 
x of 0 compare this with e power a t k. So if you observe, there is a transition taking place from a previous state x of 0 or k to a new state x of 0, x of t in terms of this matrix which we call it as e power a t which is inverse Laplace of si minus a inverse. Because of this transition from the previous state to the new state x of t in terms of this matrix, this matrix we call it as state transition matrix. This we call it as state transition matrix. Then we have force response. Force response means external input is present, that entire equation we have to consider. <coughs> Minus x of 0, p into u of s is equal to x of 0, p into u of s, si minus a into x of s, p into u of s, si minus a inverse into x of 0, si minus a inverse into b into u of s. So a force response will have two parts. One, the state transition matrix multiplied by the initial state vector and Laplace inverse of this whole product, si minus a inverse into b into u of s. So a free response will have only one part and the forced response will have two parts. This is known as the solution of state equation. Question number three, the zero input response we have to find. What is the meaning of zero input response? Free response. The shortcut method to find zero input response is, in the options given, zero input, zero input means no external input is given. Response is due to its initial state. So in the options, when you put t equal to 0, you must get that x of 0 and in the options, when you put t equal to 0, you should get x of 0 and What is x of 0 value given? 1, 0 given. So the shortcut method to find 0 input response is put t equal to 0 in the options. For whichever option you get x of 0 value, that is a 0 input response. Hmm? For which option? <coughs> huh? P and C. So what is the shortcut method for solving this problem? The shortcut method is at t equal to 0, x of t should become x of t. This is the shortcut method. Because it's both B and C, you are getting 1, 0. This is less solved. So you formulate SI minus A matrix. S0, 0, S. And this is 1, 0, 1, 1. S minus 1, 0. Minus 1, S minus 1. I am writing the inverse matrix directly. It's 
1 by s minus 1, s minus 1 whole square, 0, 1 by s minus 1. Now, the state transition matrix, which is e power a t or phi of t, will become e power t 0, t e power t e power t. This is the state transition matrix. You see, there is one important property of the state transition matrix. The property is at t equal to 0, this state transition matrix reduces to identity matrix. So you put T0, this is 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the shortcut method to identify which is a valid state. You get question number 4. We will come back to this problem afterwards. A matrix is given and we have to find the state transition matrix for this. There is no need to solve this problem. You put T0 in the options. For whichever option you get 1001, that is the answer. For which option you are getting 1001, T is the answer. You need not solve the problem. Now, X of T is E power T0, T E power T E power T into what is the initial state vector given? 1, 0. Therefore, the response of the system will be t e power minus t. This is the answer for this problem. We have type 5, type 6 is diagonalization of system matrix. You see, we have a state matrix defined as x dot is equal to ax plus bu and y is equal to cx plus d. We define a transformation matrix we define a transformation matrix x is equal to pz so when you put here this will become pz dot is equal to a pz plus bu and y is equal to c pz plus d. So we are now using one transformation matrix defined as x is equal to pz. This will become what? z dot is equal to p inverse a p into z plus p inverse b into u y will be c p z plus p. So this becomes a transformed matrix. In this transformed matrix, the p matrix is nothing but a van der Mond matrix which is given as 1, 1, 1, 
Landoven, Landot, Landon. Landoven Square, Square, and Square, Swan. So this matrix P inverse AP is called as modal matrix. And this modal matrix is always a diagonal matrix. The diagonal elements are diagonal elements. So this process we call it as diagonalization of system matrix A. For example, if you look at this problem, This is the A matrix given. A matrix is given as 0, 1, minus 6, minus 5. So we have to diagonalize this matrix. Diagonalize this matrix. So to diagonalize this matrix, we have to formulate the matrix called as P inverse AP. First thing that we have to do is to formulate SI minus A. This will become S0, 0S, minus of 0, 1, minus 6, minus 5. This matrix will become S minus 1, 6, and S plus 5. Find what is the determinant of SI minus A. It is SN2 s plus 5 plus 6 equal to 0. The roots of this polynomial are minus 2 and minus 3. Therefore, we have lambda 1 equal to minus 2 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 3. We formulate a matrix which is 1, 1, minus 2, minus 3. Then we formulate P inverse which is a joint of P by Determinant of P, I am writing this matrix directly 3, 1, minus 2, minus 1. Now, if you, form, if you multiply this P inverse AP, which is 3, 1, minus 2, minus 1, the A matrix is 0, 1, minus 6, minus 5, and P matrix is 1, 1, minus 2, minus 3. You will observe that this matrix will be a diagonal matrix. The diagonal elements are nothing but diagonal matrix. This process we call it as diagonalization. The next topic is how to write the state models from state diagrams. So two types of state diagrams are there, that is called as physical variable form. In this physical variable form, say for example, this is a trans function y of s by u of s given, which is 3s plus 5 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2. This we convert in Bayesian's gain formula form 5 by s square 1 minus of minus 3 by s minus 2 by s square. So the state model of this will be 
there are two integrators output is y input is u this is 1 by s this is 1 by s this is 1 these are the loops minus 3 and minus 2 the first forward path is 5 the second forward path is so already we know this process of drawing a straight diagram we have learned in chapter 1 in the exam, such diagrams will be given and you will be asked to write the state model from it. Such type of questions are asked. The procedure for writing state model from a state diagram is whatever nodes you have before integrators, you call them as first derivative state variables. Whatever nodes before integrators are present, define them as first derivative state variables x1 dot when integrated will give you x1. Now you see at x1 dot what are the signals coming? Minus 3 x1 is coming. x2 dot integrated. x2 dot integrated is x2 and 3u. 3u is coming. Similarly at node x2 dot if you see minus 2 x1 is coming and y u. What is output y? x1. Therefore, we have x1 dot, x2 dot, some coefficient matrix, state variables are x1, x2, some coefficient matrix, input is u, output matrix, state variables are x1, x2. So, it is minus 3, 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 5, and this is 1, 0. This becomes the state model for this expression, for this state uh, diagram. There is another way of uh, defining the state model called as canonical variable form. Canonical variable form. Now in this canonical variable form, the same transfer function 3s plus 5 factors are s plus 1 and s plus 2, we apply partial fractions, 2 by s plus 1, 1 by s plus 2. What is this y of s? It is 2 into u of s by s plus 1, u of s by s plus 2. So this is drawn like this, u of s, this becomes 2 by s plus 1, and 1 by s plus 2 by of s. This is the representation of the output now. So in the exam, such type of diagrams will be given. And you will be asked to write the state model of this diagram. So if this is the diagram given and you are asked to write the state model of this, the first thing that you have to do is to convert this in integrator forms. How to convert? This, I am writing it like this. Integrator means it is always 1 by s and I am taking a gain of 1. If I simplify this part, I get 1 by s plus 1. But I want 2 by s plus 1. Therefore, this will be in series with 2. This is u of s and the second one, the integrator is 1 by s and the gain here we are taking as 2. So if you simplify this, you get 2 by 1 by s plus 2. And the output is y of s. If you simplify this, if you simplify this, you get 1 by s plus 2 pi. So the same block diagrams we are now showing at, showing in the form of integrators. Procedure remains the same. Whatever node you have before integrators, you call them as first derivative state variables. x1 dot when integrated will give you x1 and x2. So if you look at this if you look at this diagram, what is x1 dot is equal to minus x1 plus u. What is x2 dot is equal to minus 2 x2 plus u. Output y is nothing but 2x1 plus x2. So we have x1 
x1 dot we have x1 dot x2 dot is equal to some coefficient matrix state variables are x1 x2 some coefficient matrix input is u and output y is some coefficient matrix into x1 x2 so if you look at this it is minus 1 0 1 this is 0 minus 2 1 and this will become 2 and 1 now this becomes the state model of this representation you see the system is remaining same is the system changing system is remaining same one form is giving one a b c matrices another form is giving different matrices yes or no but if you calculate eigenvalues for that representation or this representation will they be same analysis wise everything will remain same. model representations are how many state variables are there in that case and here you understand Sixth question, Deku. Question number six, you see. Another thing, go. Ye kya hai? X dot is equal to A X plus B U. W dot is equal to, ye kya? C W plus B U. Ye do different model representations. अगर अगर इस, इसके और इसके आइगन वैल्यूज निकालो तो सेम रहेंगे या अलग अलग रहेंगे इसके स्टेट वेरिएबल्स और इसके स्टेट पर नंबर ऑफ स्टेट वेरिएबल्स का अलग अलग है या सेम है क्या है आंसर हां ये है अंडरस्टैंड वो तो नहीं क्यों है इसके आइगन वैल्यूज हो इसके स्टेट वेरिएबल्स तो सारे सेम है समझ में आया अभी तक सुनो इधर इन दिस कैनोनिकल वेरिएबल फॉर्म this A matrix will always be a diagonal matrix and the diagonal elements are always diagonal matrix. The P matrix will always be a unit matrix. And the C matrix will always be residues of the partial fractions. What are the residues of the partial fractions? 2 and 1. This is the shortcut method to write this uh, canonical variable form. For example, suppose if this is the diagram given and you are asked to write the state model of this. 4 by s plus 8 and 2 by s plus 6. The inputs are given as u1, u2. And this is the diagram given. The output is y. There is no need for you to convert it into integrated base diagram and do all base time. Directly you can write the answer. x1 dot x2 dot some coefficient matrix state variables are x1 x2 some coefficient matrix inputs are u1 u2 output y some coefficient matrix state variables are x1 x2 yeah this is always a diagonal matrix with diagonal elements as eigenvalues kya hai eigenvalues minus i dot minus यहाँ पे क्या है ये minus eight zero zero ये हमेशा unit matrix रहेगा अगर एक input है तो unit matrix इस बन बन अगर दो inputs हैं तो one zero zero one always this will be a unit matrix और C matrix क्या है residues of the partial fraction क्या है residues four and four and this is not solve the problem
this B. Ram Kumar, you have uh, plenty of conventional problems. So you can refer this book for solving conventional questions. And any all previous papers you solve, previous papers of all branches, both gate and IES, and whatever material this institute is giving, it will be more than sufficient for preparing for the subject. All the best to you.